everyone! So today I'm super excited to bring this video to you because I've been working on it for a little while. Um, okay, as you can tell from the title, these are going to be drugstore dupes for high-end products. I came up with the idea a couple of months ago and so I've actually been like writing on, you know, sticky notes? You know these? Like little sticky notes if you have a MacBook. Um, so whenever I've come up with something or I found something that's like a dupe for something else, then um, I've put it in there and so then I've taken the best ones and I've decided to show them to you guys. I'm so excited about it because I know that I would love to see a video like this, like drugstore prices for basically high-end products, like if that can make sense. And by the way, have you guys ever burnt yourself on like a heat styling tool before? Because yesterday, okay, if you can see this, can you see this right here? That this circle it's a blister now but um yesterday i was curling my hair with like one of the heat wands like the ones that are hot all the way around the tip like everywhere the whole thing is like freaking like 450 degrees and you can't change the temperature and i don't even know what i was doing because i was curling my hair and then I don't even know, I was like fixing something or whatever and I was holding it and the tip of it like singed into the inside of my arm and it hurt so much and then I had to go to work and it was starting to blister and it hurt so much that like, you see how small this is? The pain had spread to like this much of my arm. So if I tapped like over here, it, it still hurt, like it stung to the touch. It hurt so much. Oh my gosh. So if you see that on my arm, that's a burn and yeah. Anyway, I'm going to start out with products that aren't like specific dupes for like specific things, but they could be because they're such a good drugstore product. So I'm going to start this list with something that could be a dupe for um, any kind of high-end heat protectant. I'm thinking like Chi heat protectant. The thing that I have found, which I've been using for quite a while and is the best drugstore heat protectant that I've ever found, is the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. And this, if you want to get close to a high-end um, heat protectant, I would go with this because it works really, really well. And it smells pretty good, and I just recommend it. So I wanted to start out with this just because I didn't want to skip it because, yeah, it's a good product. And then the next thing that isn't quite specific but could be a dupe for um, Hula Bronzer or Laguna Bronzer, you know, stuff like that, is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. Um, in Sundance, okay? So this, that's what it looks like. It just looks like a normal bronzer. Make sure you get it in Sundance, number 27, because if you get it in any other color, I don't guarantee the same results because the other ones are either shimmerier or more orange or, um, I don't know, stuff like that because I've tried other colors, other versions of this bronzer by them and um, the one that's called Sundance is the one that is such an amazing bronzer. Um, it's so pigmented and it's like the most natural looking bronzer I've ever found. So um, I really recommend you guys try this out because it's the best drugstore bronzer I've ever found. So it could be a dupe for a high-end bronzer but I don't have any high-end bronzers here to like compare for you. Um, so you're gonna have to test it out for yourself but in my opinion it is fantastic. And the last non-specific dupe I have for you is actually a highlighter, and it is the best highlighter I've ever tried, and it could be a dupe for um, Benefit High Beam, which is a liquid, this is a powder, but um, any kind of really like shimmery highlight, like a really good highlight. And this is the CoverGirl um, eyeshadow, and this is in the color Champagne. And this is what it looks like. It's a really, really nice, again, champagne color. And I'm just going to swatch this for you on the back of my hand. Hopefully it'll show up. It's very bright outside. It's like dreary. So um, it's like super white. Like everything's cast white on the camera. So don't even know if you're going to be able to see it. No, you're not going to be able to see it. It's like there. Oh, you can kind of see it. But um, yeah, it's an amazing highlighter for anywhere, like even your cheekbones, your um, your brow bone, and your inner corner, and just like anywhere you want highlighted, this is like the perfect color for, um, at least if you have a skin tone similar to me. And next I'm going to get into the specific dupes that I have found that are like practically identical to the high-end products. I have three for you guys. The first one is for an Essie nail polish, and um, I know Essie, I mean, it's kind of high-end, but it's just that it's kind of expensive. So, um, the Essie nail polish in Fiji. I know that that's a super popular color right now. It's just a really light pink, and I actually went to the drugstore to buy it, and um, I saw this 
which is Maybelline Color Show Nail Lacquer in Born With It. So that's what it looks like. It's coming up even whiter on camera. And so that's what's called Born With It. I was holding them up beside each other and literally could not tell a difference. Like, I was like, why would I buy the Estee Nail Polish if this looks exactly the same? So if you want Estee Nail Polish in Fiji or just a really good light pink uh, nail polish, then I would definitely go with Maybelline Color Show in Born With It. It's just a really good nail polish on its own or you can use it for like a French manicure if you want. But yeah, the second last dupe that I have is for Lip Venom, and that is by Doo Wop. Yep, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's by Doo Wop. Doo Wop Lip Venom. And I know that that one is a really big stinger for your lip. Like, it's a lip plumper. You guys probably already know that. But um, yeah, it's a lip plumper, and it stings, and it costs $16 for the regular size. This one isn't that much less expensive but um it's available at drugstores and it's uh really good and it doesn't sting all that much it just kind of makes your lips feel like they're vibrating it's really weird but anyway it's from a company called soap and glory and i don't know if you guys have heard of it but i had never heard of it before before i saw it um the packaging is really what caught my eye but once i started using it i was like wow this is really really a good lip plumper so this one costs 11 dollars in canada and it's called the sexy mother pucker pucker yes <laughs> and so it just comes in like a little skinny black tube and i'm not the hugest fan of the smell it actually kind of smells like chocolate frosting but you kind of get sick of it after a while yeah like it's not the worst smell it's not like it smells bad it's just like you kind of get sick of it but um anyway yeah and it's clear i got the clear kind there's also um tinted ones but i decided not to get that because i would probably wear the clear one the most often and i wanted to try it out i didn't even try it yet so it's really good. They also have an extra large, like an XL, like extreme lip plumper from the same people and it costs $22. So the more extreme one costs more, but the regular one costs less. So thought I'd show you guys that. And the final dupe I have for you guys, I've saved the best for last, is a dupe for NARS Orgasm. And I guarantee you guys will like it. And you guys have actually seen it in my videos before. And it's CoverGirl Cheekers Blush in Rose Silk. This is the closest color I've ever found to NARS Orgasm um, that isn't NARS Orgasm. I guarantee you guys will like it. Um, it's a super, it's like, oh my gosh, I can't even explain the color. It, it just, it gives your cheeks such an amazing glow. Can you see that? Woo! It's super nice. It, it's coming up even pinker on camera, but it's like a pinkish peach kind of deal. And... It's really, really nice just on like any skin tone I've used this on. It just looks fantastic. So I recommend if you guys are looking for NARS Orgasm and you don't have NARS Orgasm and you want something that's like cheaper because I don't even know how much NARS Orgasm costs. It costs a lot. But this cost me like five bucks and it is really great. So I hope you guys really liked this video because I actually spent a lot of time on it um, trying to find the best things that I could show you guys. These are really are dupes for like the real things. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I might actually do another video, uh, like part two kind of thing. If, um, I find, you know, another good set of cosmetics that are dupes for high end products. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know, um, if there are any dupes that I've completely missed out on that, um, you guys have found because I'd love to see those and try them out too. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.